These umbrellas, how, how long are they up for? For you, Mr. Chair, the, uh, the umbrellas are very permanent structures, and they're, they're not just umbrellas, they're, they're hard physical structures. So, uh, and they're meant to be up for uh, 25, 30 years. Um, so in the winter, what purpose do they serve on a beach? For you, Mr. Chair, they provide shade uh, and shelter from the sun for uh, users of the park. Uh, they also have lighting built into them uh, that provides uh, illumination. So I, I just want to clarify something. Um, a lot of people um, use Sugar Beach in the middle of the winter. Uh, well, obviously, uh, it's the, the beach is used, used less in the winter, but it's used very uh, much in spring, summer, fall. It is uh, also a uh, special venue. It's uh, actually permitted by the by the city of Toronto, and there are event revenues associated with uh, the site that are the city. Would it be fair to say that, realistically speaking, these umbrellas are probably used six months of the year, um, and the other six months they're probably surrounded by snow? If we look at this past winter. For you, Mr. Chair, obviously there is there are more years, users in the spring, summer, and fall, uh, fewer uh, users in the winter. Um, and these costs are approximately $12,000 each. Uh, for you, Mr. Chair, yes, the, the umbrellas, including uh, their bases, so their concrete pads, uh, as well as their lighting, of $11,565,000. Uh, Who supplied these umbrellas? Which company um, produced them? Uh, I, I don't know that Waterfront Toronto could perhaps answer that for us, but it would have gone through a, a publicly tendered process. Uh, the, the umbrellas would not be off the shelf. Uh, items, they would be um, items that would be fabricated in place and then also um, specialty uh, manufactured. I would imagine so for $12,000 an umbrella. Um, this rock, this one rock. Two. Two, sorry. Two rocks. Where did these rocks come from? And is it fair to say they cost $530,000? For you, Mr. Chair, uh, yes, the number is correct, $530,000. It's my understanding that the rocks came from uh, Quebec, uh, and they are a, um, a signature piece. A signature piece. A rock is a signature piece of wood. What's the difference between a rock from up north and a rock from Quebec? I don't understand the signature piece here. Or is that the paint that you put on the rock? Um, for you, Mr. Chair, it, you know, there were uh, articles uh, over Last week about the designer's intentions, um, and the uh, idea of the design was to, uh, to create a one-of-a-kind place that would attract investment to adjacent properties uh, and uh, enable people to come down to, this, to uh, park and feel a sense of uh, uh, uniqueness. Would you say that's a, a piece of art, a rock, that people would come down and look at? You could look at it as uh, a piece of art, yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Um, I want to go back to these consulting fees. It was brought up, and, and tell me if I'm approximately correct with these numbers. And if I'm wrong, please um, tell me so. From 2011 to present, is it fair to say that 30 consulting contracts were issued at approximately $50,000 to $250,000 each? Yes, sir. And I, uh, I should say that I, I reviewed my notes. Uh, have them uh, present uh, earlier, but there were 30 contracts uh, issued at 50000 to 249000 And there's another 13 contracts that were issued yes. for, from 250000 to a million dollars each? That's correct. And there was three that were issued at over a million dollars each? Yes, these last contracts were uh, construction management contracts uh, to construction companies, but yes. And how long has Mr. Campbell been the CEO of Waterfront? It's my understanding that he's been the CEO since uh, Waterfront Toronto was established in uh, approximately 2000. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Thomas. A million dollars for 36 umbrellas and a rock. Yeah. Two rocks. Two big rocks. The first thing people say, is this a joke? 
This is a joke. Sadly to say, this is not a joke. This is as real as a paper in front of you. And then you start drilling down. You start asking questions. You can't get answers. Why was this all out 14 years ago? Why weren't we doing what Councilman Awan said 14 years ago? Sole source consultants. Let's not even get into the consultants. The sole source consultants. The famous excuse I've heard since I've been here for 14 years. Emergency basis. Emergency. What's the emergency? A waterfront that has never developed, and at this rate, will never develop with these people in charge. 